Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on January 21st, 2024 at approximately 4.30 p.m. PST. Now, I've returned to this world for one primary purpose, and that is to remind people that working together, we can make this a better world for virtually everybody. Okay, now, the reason I, now I built myself a spiritual guide because the tools I offer are the exact same tools I personally use in my day-to-day -day life. And the philosophies of life I talk about are the precise philosophies I guide my day-to-day -day movements by. With this in mind, I know that these tools will work for you as they have helped, as they helped me. And they have helped literally thousands of other people depending entirely on their own personal efforts. Now, this is open topic today. And before we get into it, we have in the house, we have Shadow and Sun in with the with the gold. And we forgot to open something up here. We have Shadow and Sun in with the gold. And then where is what I'm looking for? That. This is the link to Shadow and Sun's land, to Shadow and Sun's live stream. So absolutely, drop in, give him a listen. If you like what he has to say, do give him a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share the daylights out of the thing. It would be really appreciated. So Shadow and Sun, welcome aboard. Glad you could make it. And we have, next in, we have Storm and Shadow. How we doing, Storm? And again, this is the link to, to Storm and Shadow's live stream. So again, what I should not have done that. Hit the wrong button, and that's going to cause problems. Oh, that's okay. I only hit a button that hid my, my chat on me. Now, whoop. okay, and there is the live stream to Storm and Shadow. Absolutely drop in, give him a listen. If you like what he has to say, do come right out and, you know, give him a thumbs up and give him a, you know, subscribe to the channel and share the daylights out of the thing. We have L.A. Moon in with the bronze. Steve Knox, you are in with honorable mention. Now, something I should be clear, guys. L.A., how are you doing? Hopefully your day has been going well. And Steve, nice to see you in here again. You know, the reality is that I, I list them off as gold, silver, bronze, honorable mention. Understand there is not a person in here, myself included, that is more important than the next. Although I do have that added distinction of if I'm not here, nobody's coming in. Okay, now, with that in mind... Okay, it's open topic, but before I get into it, I've got to say a couple of things. The last couple of days has been an absolute nightmare for me. Now, I do keep a daily journal, and today I'm actually going to read an entry that I actually put together because the stream yesterday created a massive problem for me. Okay, now, I am I'm doing my level best to keep things on the even keel. You know, on the up and up. Unfortunately, that is not always the way it works. Now, normally I'll enter my, like I enter my own daily journal, like I suggested to you. It is wise to do so simply to keep on top of what you're going through. Whether it's mental, emotional, philosophical, doesn't matter. But the problem we've been having over the last couple of days has been, and, and well, over the last week, really has been a nightmare. As a result, it took me forever on top of the normal stress causing a problem. Okay. On top of my normal complications with with um, with computers and electronics. This cell phone of mine, I fried it to the point that it shut off and that the screen shut down and locked. I still have no idea how to do both either of those. But on top of the other things that people were working on trying to straighten this mess out, it was literally my blind other half that figured out 
how to unlock my 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 uh, cell phone. And you'll understand why I say that cell phone and unlocking that may well have been the primary reason why I'm actually doing a stream at all tonight. Okay. Again, if you've got questions, absolutely, even if we are not talking, even if we are not talking about, you know, about the same thing that you've got question on, pop the question into the chat room and put it in all caps, partial caps, or at least a wavy hand. This way I can at least find it. Now, before I get into the rest of the stream, okay, and you're going to, well, you don't have to bear with me. You can hang up in a heartbeat. But this, now this particular, this particular um, poem post I wrote, okay, is actually part of my, of my own journal. Okay, but to be clear, okay, a couple of things I should point out before I read that. Okay, Nathan, how you doing? Uh, let us bring that back up here. There we are. This is the link to Nathan's to Nathan's Quantum Show. So absolutely, drop in, give him a listen if you like what he has to say. Give him a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel and share the daylights out of the thing. That would be really appreciated. Because as we've mentioned before, it is, you know, it is by sharing these connections and by sharing the weight of things with each other that we can actually turn this, this world around. Okay. And not rely on everybody else. But here's the kicker to it. Yesterday, I got a staggering amount of support from people. Again, I, I hate dropping streams, but I had no choice. And in about five seconds here, you're going to find out why. This said, for those of you that are, are moderators, okay, I am going to get this transcribed and get it written on computer. And then I will send it to you just because I want you guys to fully understand the extent of how close I came to actually shutting this down permanently. And I know people have asked me, please don't do that. Okay. And the majority of you are absolutely stunning people. Just absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, there are a few people and we've got, we've got people working in the background now to avoid further problem with it. Okay. Now, to be clear, I've already gone all my medication into me, medication for heart, blood pressure, uh, okay, the pulse, sugar levels, including my Hawthorne berry and my and the baby aspirin to make sure the heart stays working. Now, with that in mind, okay, this is literally what I was going through. Okay. Now I wrote this. I got to bed last night. Well, it took me until about 11 o'clock Pacific time last night with my other half helping to figure out how to even get my cell phone working because it was completely black, totally locked out. I had no way of getting through it. This was literally a question of the blind leading the blind. Okay. Now, here's the, the reality of it. Okay. Now... And this is literally what I've written. And like I said, those of you that are mods are going to get a copy of this. It is going to go into my newsletter. And obviously it's going on here. To say last night, now this was written, this was actually written at 5 o'clock this morning. Okay, 5.09 to be specific. But to say last night was rough would be a, a gross understatement. Though we do our best and you're going to have to forgive me because I can't read half my own writing. Though we do our best, you know, uh, to be honest and upfront, as we tell others to do, both in person and on the stream, on and on the, on the stream at YouTube. Okay. Right here. And I think, and I don't know if I've actually got it listed. No, I, got, I forgot to look up the number, and that's okay. 
in any event. Um, there are those that can go out of their way to cause problems. For my entire life, I have striven to live by, and by karmic law. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And energy out, energy in. Okay. I have certainly erred along the way. Okay. You know, I, I am not perfect. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of things I am imperfect. is isn't one of them. One of my many motivations has been... Well, has been the case... Whip. Okay, so much for reading this well. You'll see why I, you understand why I do not actually read out loud much. One, one of my many motivations has been the cause with cause whip, which with, with which so many politicians, business owners, large and small, um, and individuals to in the modern world seem to treat others with, with, well, with deception and grief. Well, can't read half of it. I have, aim, I have aimed to be different. Managed to pull the different thing, but it does seem to have a bit of a problem. Okay. The net result of this, triggered by individuals and individual actions on my live stream, on my live stream last night, was was the abrupt, whoop, the abrupt ending of of the stream, whoop, Really should have read through this, made sure I could actually read what I was writing. Um, followed by some, some severe chest pain. Okay. The loss of use, uh, the loss of use of my left arm, uh, the temporary loss of use of my left arm and blood pressure and a blood pressure reading of, of approximately a hundred of, if I recall correctly, you know, if memory serves 156 over 118 with a pulse of 111. Okay, after my after my other half turned around and got the phone working, we managed to bring things down a bit. Many many of my listeners during the stream were affected, but fortunately, the mo the moderator stepped in, and stepped up right away to do what they could. And to do what they could with the stream and continued working long, long afterwards of their own volition to set the mess out and to sort the mess out. At the same time, my cell phone froze with a black screen, looking me, locking me out of all, con of all contact. That's why things could have gone real sour in a hurry. And thereby, and thereby, any local help at all. We did get the cell phone working, and thereby access, and thereby access if need be, to 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 local help. It was not necessary. I did not go to the hospital. Not necessarily a good call. Whoop. After going to bed at 11 p.m. last night, with my left arm working working once again, though it was though it was still sluggish, I woke at 2:49 a.m. with blood pressure at 137 over 69, pulse at 80 at 97. It took it took me I took my Hawthorne berry berry syrup for my heart and. And went back to bed. I just I just woke from at at five oh nine this morning. So I've been on the go since five since five oh nine Pacific, with blood pressure at one twenty five over seventy four, 
Pulse at 96. And we'll be taking my my taking my necessary medication from the doctor. And I am I am well and I'm, I'm done with the when I am done with the entry. Now again, pardon the pardon the stumble, that's just me. I walked, how you doing? Glad you could join us. Now I've been doing my best to make this stream safe for everyone. Will putting Putting the well, well, putting as as few rules in place as possible. Although it is my belief that all people have free will and free and free choice, none have freedom from consequence. So, why you may ask? And repeat all of the repeat all of this detail. Well, perhaps, just perhaps, some of you that require it will get them and will get the message that your actions do have consequences that you may not realize. Okay. I have done my best to to stay to stay on my original path. But clearly, but clearly the, the open path for some has been, has been to, whoop, I love where, where I can't read my own writing. Of course, I was still running into troubles this morning. The chosen path for many people, for some people, has been to create as much, as much of a mess as they can. The changes are, changes are taking place. Now, in a nutshell, through all of this, I did end up, I know for an absolute fact, I did end up with a minor heart attack last night. And the reality is, if we hadn't got the phone working, odds are it would have been a fatal one. Only this one, I don't think I'd have bothered coming back for. Okay, um, you know, my hat goes off to the to the individual or individuals that have been, for reasons unknown, for reasons as yet unknown, targeting my stream with blatant, severe bullying, uh, se severe, um, yeah, well. Severe bullying or cyber assault. You pick the label. You literally nearly killed me. Okay. At best, you know, at, you know, oh, that's why I wrote. I love what I wrote. I should have written it better first, but I didn't have the time to. At best, you know, At best, you created some problems that are absolutely carrying on. Now, where are we here? Now, you know, I really do, but, you know, I really do offer a heartfelt thank you to those of you that stepped up and, and offered support right off the bat. And the moderators, frankly, did an absolutely bang up job. Okay. You know, I mean, quite frankly, had it not been for the support, I doubt very much I would have actually survived last night. You know, this has been going on way too long. And as I've said, I have no functional way of dealing with the with technology, aside from apparently to fry the poor things. Okay, but with that in mind, you know, changes are now happening in my life that I feel must be implemented if I am to survive at all. Please start thinking before acting. Your actions do have your your actions and words 
do have consequences. Now, you know, I have had many people, to, and I will, when that gets to, to the moderators, and for that matter, it gets posted in my in my video or in my uh, newsletter. It will have been edited and sorted out properly. But the reality of it is this. Uh, okay. If I continue down that road, okay, the odds are I'm going to be dead. Which means it's not a question of the stream being being terminated. Obviously, the stream will be terminated much more directly. I will be. Okay, and I'm just not that interested in the pain anymore, but thanks very much for the offer. I'm overheating. So, with this in mind, people, okay, for those of you that were adversely affected by the by the cyber attack, you know, for what it's worth, my, you know, my, my apologies, I realize I didn't do any of it. That's beside the point. Okay. I am still going to do my best to keep things running. But some of you are going to go, oh, you're jumping on your, to the moderators. You're jumping on people that aren't, that are, that are totally innocent. Got news for you. In this world, okay, I believe people are innocent until proven guilty. Problem is, if I leave it to that and leave it to my discretion as to who should get a chance, I've made that mistake often enough. Okay? Quite frankly, I've made that mistake way too often. And what's happening now is I've gone, okay, I've got rules and what have you that are being sent to the moderators so that I don't have to deal with it. Now, you can bet your bottom dollar with the moderators if they if they evict somebody, there's a reason. I do not need require. I don't require input from the moderator. Moderator saying, "Oh, this was a problem. Is it okay if we ban if we block them out?" Okay, there are people in place that are literally authorized to say, "No, you're done with the stream. Just don't come back." Okay, now I'm a firm believer. Even if somebody does something stupid. Yes, you may, if you do something stupid once, be timed out and be permitted back. Now, all I'm doing is going with the moderators is going, here's the list of things that I'm concerned with. You deal with it, please. Very much. You know, thank you very much. But people will make mistakes on occasion. Okay, somebody a while back made a comment that may that some be that some other people took as derogatory or inflammatory. Now, this may end up getting you getting you booted for a time or timed out for a time or hidden. I don't know the text behind it. I don't care about the text behind it that much. What I do care about is I told my son, my, my eldest son literally came to me. He said, look, Dad, I know you're under a lot of stress and you're trying to do some things, but can you do me a favor and not die before I graduate? Okay, he's going back to college and he wants to, weird, he wants me to live to see him graduate. You know, so yes, mistakes will be made, absolutely. Okay, but the other option is either a few people get and get inconvenienced or I die. Okay, now it's your call as to which one's going to be best, but guaranteed, I die, I won't be streaming anymore. With that in mind, I am going to be linking the stream with what comes out in the newsletter. Now, the newsletter itself is literally titled Positive Perspectives. If you desire a copy, drop me a line, any one of the contacts below this video, and every other video for that matter, uh, okay, will get to me. But where are we here? This particular email is the email best suited to get a hold of me? Okay. So drop me a line if you'd like, if you do desire a copy of the of the man of the newsletter. Okay, eventually it'll be changed to a magazine, but you get the idea. Okay. All I require is an email stating, add me to the list, please. Hi, Voices, how are we doing?
Oh, no, in all fairness there, Troll, um, and I'm betting that's going to be a problem, uh, okay? Um, but I'm betting, you know, I got way more than 200 past lives, uh, okay? Way more than that. I have no idea the full count, but I will be talking about my other, about my past lives as time goes on now, uh, okay? But no, the, the reality of it is, whoa. I don't know whether to bother them. I I'm just not going to. Yeah, you know, I I really don't have that much of a sense of humor. Ah, perfect. That's why I say I was trying to figure out how to do that. So thank you very much, there, Storm. Okay, that individual clearly. And this is what I mean by people doing this intentionally to create a problem. Okay. Unfortunately, and then, yo, this is why I say whether they, if that one never shows up in the, if that one never shows up here ever again, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I will do what I can to help the people that are possible, but you know, that are possible to help or even the ones that make miscalculations. Well, now why pray tell? Well, I can't read that. And I don't know why it doesn't show up there. Yeah, absolutely, LA. Kimberly, how you doing? I'm glad you could join us. Now, why? Oh, that's because that froze. I'm looking at this going, why is that not scrolling on my view? But that's because it's scrolling. It froze. So let's reboot that. Not the stream. The stream's fine. But the screen I read off of stopped scrolling. There we go. Yo. The, the reality of it is, my patience is done. Uh, okay. Here's the, the one thing about it, though, is on top of that, uh, okay, I look at it this way. Somebody like, like this troll that was just here, that is a very intellectually challenged, not intellectually challenged, maturity wise challenged individual. Now, I was dealing with a four year old today. Yeah, actually, I think it was only about two. Okay. Kimberly, you missed an absolute disaster, not the least of which is it resulted in my having a heart attack last night. Yo, know, this is actually what I'm hoping for with the moderators I've got in place. And I will tell you, asking to be put in as a moderator, not going to be a bright idea. Because I'll tell you, the first thing that's going to happen the moment somebody says, oh, can you put me in as a moderator? The first thing that's going to happen, I hope, is that my moderators are going to jump into the background and go, okay, who is this person? And either vote them out for even asking. I'm no longer interested in tolerating it. The last two times I've given a given moderator line, moderating authority to somebody else. Okay. Moderating, well, I didn't actually have the heart attack on the on on air here, Kimberly. Yeah, that was another issue. But we'll get to that in a little while, in a little while. But the reality is the last two times I've I've given somebody moderator power as far as that went, without actually doing a complete background on them, quite frankly, created a massive problem. Okay culminating in this that said am i still going to continue streaming in all honesty I, with with what's going on and with the support that i've gotten the encouragement i've gotten from you guys okay ah well i do hope the move went well there kimberly no my stress gets right out of hand finances have been a shambles that sort of thing 
but it all culminated with this disaster yesterday. Okay, now with that in mind, okay, again, this and today is open topic. It's just I wanted to get that out in the open. Many of you saw things happening, and my you know, much as I do my best to be open with people, okay, it literally has created a problem which I can no longer work with. You know, that being said. Okay, if, like, the stream itself, I am now linking the stream, my writing, and the newsletter all at the same time. Okay, now there's been suggestions for different security line, security procedures to be put in place. And I'll tell you, I'm about a half a nanosecond away from putting some of them in place. The way I figure it, though, if I get way too heavy on the actual security side, then a lot of people get chopped in the process. And sometimes a newcomer comes in here and goes, I've got a question. I don't know who else to ask. Okay, that's what I'm trying to facilitate. Unfortunately, some of these geniuses are coming in here. And, you know, I'm absolutely certain the last one that was in here that called himself the troll. This shows an extreme lack of maturity. This is a chap, screen, a chap or, or woman. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Could care less, I think, as to which one. But this is, a, is an individual screaming for attention because they're not happy with their own life, with whatever aspect of it. Now, clearly, you know, if we are relying on the politicians, the religious people, the, the people running global empires, Okay, your your big financial moguls and what have you. If we're relying on them to straighten this mess out, you're wasting time. In case you had noticed, the ones sitting in those positions right now are not doing this. Okay, I was asked years ago if I like off-worlders more than I like humans, and the answer is the answer is no. Yeah. Robert, how you doing? Glad, glad you could join us. You know, the the reality of it is the attention you get when you when you set me off is usually not good. And it was literally, you guys can literally thank yourselves for the for the request from many of you to not fold the, the channel up and the moderators specifically for stepping into the, you know, for stepping in in and helping to sort out this mess. Okay. And honestly, you know, as much as that was very necessary for me, the fact that my other half actually got my got my cell phone working, okay, was was absolutely, I have no doubt, the one thing that stopped me from having a fatal heart attack. Okay. So, you know, Hats off to her as well. Joseph, how we doing? Well, you know, my, I do agree with you there, Joseph. Now, I've been here multiple times, multiple past lives. Some of you know about them, some of you don't. The less, shall we say, controversial past lives I've got, I will go into. Okay, and absolutely, I will answer questions for people. This said, I will only answer most questions. There are some questions I will not answer. Like, for instance, I will not answer what names were, were behind problems or what people do I know of from past lives. Okay, not by, by general, you know, not in general. Okay. But I can no longer afford to stay quiet about the about the way this is going on because I see it in so many places where you know I grew up with bullying, okay, and some of the people that have had that people are listening to, yeah. <laughs> Joe goes, I'm as mean as ever, and of course L.A. comes back with, "Good Joe, we like consistency," you know, and the reality is. I like consistency, except what we've had the last couple of weeks. Okay, it may not be that long. Doesn't matter in all fairness. 
Okay. Hey, Nathan, how are you doing? Glad you could join us. Actually, you were in here already. Yeah, well, you know, you've got this advantage. Not disadvantage. This advantage. You've got a stable job that is actually paying your bills. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, come on, Robert. I'm pretty certain you still got one, don't you? You know, but if it makes you feel any better, I've got two legs. One of them just periodically quits. Okay, just without any warning. And I, like you, I don't drink either. <laughs> you know, but I am starting to, when it, with the new, with the, with the next edition, which will be out before the end of the month, of, of Positive Perspectives, there will be a list of, of various things available, not the least of which is the merchandise I've got, the different books that are available, this sort of thing. You know, again, if you've got a topic that you do desire to, to cover, if you've got questions, absolutely ask. <laughs> yeah. L.A., I've talked to you in person. And, you know, of course, I'm not necessarily the person you should ask. But I certainly don't find her, don't find L.A., I do not find her unstable. Hilarious on occasion, yes. Unstable, no. You know, I mean, I remember walking down, down the street the other day, a couple of months back now. And I came across, I came across a couple of police officers standing by their car, right? And they were just talking for a bit. Uh, okay. And I literally walked up to them and I went, excuse me. And of course, a bunch of them, very polite. Yes, how can we help? I said, I'm just curious. Why don't you just up and shoot criminals? And they looked at me and went, um, 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 because it doesn't deter other criminals. I says no, but it will it will cut down on the repeat offenders. Okay, and yo, know, he turned around. And he says, "Well, you know, the best lawyer on the planet would be hard pressed to argue that point." Now, now my brother, okay, he's passed away now, but he built a virus scanner that I would love to have handy where it comes to the to these bullies. I never knew what a troll was, aside from about a nine-foot-tall critter. Nasty as all get out and regenerates at a staggering level. I never knew what a troll was until I came on here, as far as what we've had here. But I'm a firm believer that if there were a program built... Okay, yeah, that may well have been, Joseph. If there were a program built that could take on a troll like that, and just burn their motherboard. I've got no problem with it. Okay. Because I'll tell you. I've killed more motherboards myself. Just by getting agitated. It's it's a pain in the neck. But it's an expensive pain in the neck. You know. So am I going to be making adjustments as I go along? Absolutely. And if any of you have a suggestion. For a way to make this a safer place. For literally everybody. And yeah, I'm being I'm being a little selfish in this case. I desire it to be safe for everybody. In my case, it really boils down to this. It's either safe for me or I die. Now, this will interfere with my son's request that I don't die. And my other half's request that I stick around long enough for her to get up here so I can marry her. Okay. I can't do either of those if I'm dead. You know, at least I'm thinking that might be a bit of a hiccup. But with that in mind, I could go back and forth on that. Bullying yourself is what this boils down to. Now, many of you got bullied when you were kids. Okay. Some of you apparently never got over it. Because what happens, sometimes a bully becomes violent. Okay. Now, I'm not about to become violent. I didn't even throw my mouse across the room. Even this poor little thing. I didn't throw it anywhere. I just I just locked it out somehow. Yeah, see, and that's just it there. LA's gone. Smallest kid in the class. 
smallest kid in the class, weirdest kid. I got bullied for a lot of reasons, not the least of which, glasses. Now, the fact was, I ended up wearing glasses because I took a trailer hitch to the right eye. By the way, that was not enjoyable. But many, many, many of you got bullied when you were younger. Okay. Most of you grew out of it. Sure, you had some, some psychological hiccups and barriers and what have you and hurdles that you had to get over. But there are a select few that become violent and remain bullies. Okay. Now, again, do not take my word for what I'm about to tell you. Tell you. Do your own research. Okay. Back in back in 1760, I ran. Oh, there you go, Joseph. Joseph's going skinniest kid here. Back in 1760, I ran a plantation. Okay, and I bought two. I I was going to say I bought two slaves, which technically I did. After that, people were paying me to take their slaves from them. That that's a long story. What I discovered. Because I keep finding people quoting the idea of, oh, you know, white man brought man brought the black people over here. I won't argue that point. But do your research. Because what I discovered, and I'm no researcher to speak of, okay, but what I discovered was, number one, the blacks were the ones that were catching the blacks over in Africa, okay, and selling them to the whites. Now, they've been jumping back and forth with, with slavery between them anyway. By the way, so were the North American Indians. And again, don't take my word for it. Check it up. Okay. When I got poking around in, because I got fed up with this idea of everybody yelling, oh, the whites brought the blacks over. I don't argue they did. They had the boats. Okay. Heck of a long swim if you're on a surfboard. Okay. But if you can do it on a surfboard, hey, more power to you. The other thing I found out was that many black slaves, after they were freed, went and bought slaves of their own. So how about if we take the whole idea of slavery and go scrap it? It's wrong. It's not a good thing. Okay. But how about if we quit pointing the fingers at people? Okay. How about if we quit? Because there's an old saying, if you're pointing one finger at somebody, take a look where the other three fingers are. I'm pointing. They're coming right back at you. Take responsibility for your own actions. Okay. Now, in my case, I got bullied because of being number one, short sighted. Number two, I was I had a bad leg, and I was epileptic. Okay. Plus, I think I got bullied because I had a mouth that just wouldn't quit. You know, somebody asked me a question, I give them an answer. Not necessarily the best move in the world. Okay. But will I tolerate bullying anymore? No. I came to a conclusion just yesterday, well, literally this morning, after suffering yet another heart attack, uh, okay, that I cannot afford to permit bullying to continue. For those of you that have suffered from it, especially in this room, I do apologize, but... We also have a number of people who have stepped up to the plate. The moderators here are, and most of them have got a copy of the of the of the rules that I that I require. And you know, those that don't, I will be getting a, I will be sending a copy, uh, okay, to make sure that you're on the same page. Because let's face it, from my standpoint, this idea of oh, give them another chance, not going to happen. Okay, I'm done with this idea because it's not a question of, oh, maybe they'll grow up. Maybe they will. I hid for 55 years. Okay, I've, I avoided the, I avoided society and quite frankly, I avoided living. Okay, now what I'm facing is so many people are being bullied. So many people are being kicked while they're down. And this isn't just by the common populace. Okay, it happens by business owners. I saw it just the other day. Another business got bought. They made all these promises. And the second they owned the company, they sheared off hours. They cut back pay. 
Okay, and they cut back to pay way and the way they were doing the pay. Basically, they went, Oh, I know, I you know, I know I made all these promises, but my word wasn't worth sheep. Okay. Now I will tell you, I'm not the brightest kid in the class. I you know some people seem to think I've got a brain. I still question that. Well, thank you very much there, LA. I appreciate that. You know, people have told me, like, people have told me I'm an expert in fields. I'm a specialist where it comes to off-world races. But bear in mind, I pay as much attention to the off-worlders as I do to the, to the human race and the ancient races. Okay. Oh, that one, um, Wu Train. That is one that you know, if you're not out of here in 30 seconds, then nobody's created a problem. Um, I will, will, I would suggest. Oh, not a problem there at all. Will, uh, there you go. Now you've got the, now you've got the answer. Okay, I was going to suggest that you get a hold of one of the moderators and get them to look into it, because there were a lot of you that got blocked, got blocked, got hidden, got taken out. Okay, and that was not my doing, and it certainly wasn't the actual moderators. Now, the moderators I've got in place, there is, I think, only one other moderator that hasn't shown up yet. Okay, and they will be brought up to speed as soon as we can. You know, but can I afford to tolerate this any longer? No, because tolerating it, in my eyes, is literally the same thing. Joel, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining and for joining us. I really do appreciate the support. You know, the the fact of the matter is, in my opinion, if I do nothing, okay, and just keep leaving things alone. Number one, I'm telling people it's okay to bully, okay. It's okay to assault people. You know, it's okay to assault people verbally. Okay, I'm not about to stand by and say, oh, that's great. I can't do much about it, technologically speaking. What I can do, and this is the same thing that applies to every CEO you ever find. Okay, every CEO you ever find has the same, the same qualifier. You don't have to know how to do it all. You have to know how to find the people that will do it all the way you'd like, okay, or the way that works. In my case, it really is a question of the way that works. Now, the reality for me is I've got two major trips coming up that I'm aiming at, at making happen, okay? And I cannot do that if I'm dead. Now, of course, do understand, doctor telling me I'm dead, apparently that doesn't take that well. Hence why at five years old, I walked out of the morgue. Okay, you know, they diagnosed me dead, shipped me to the morgue. I didn't agree, so I left. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice there, Woo. You know, a library is a phenomenal place for kids to gain some, uh, some understanding. You know, a library, a museum, Yo, I, an art, uh, what is it called? Yeah, an art museum, I guess, all work. Uh, okay. Any place you can take a kid to learn. Yo, and when I say kids, by the way, every single one of you, regardless of your age, are children. You have parents, you had parents somewhere along the way. Okay. Even if you're, you know, if you're born of a natural method, uh, okay, you know, C-section, by the way, does it, it does qualify as natural. If you're born that way or if, or if you're a test tube baby. Okay. And how do you know if you're a test tube baby? That's easy. No, no belly button, you're a test tube. Okay. Now, that said, every one of you is of equal value. Okay. I just am not willing to put the rest of you in, online, you know, on the, on the edge. Okay, 
um, you know, from my standpoint, I'm not about to put other people deliberately in danger by my stepping back and saying, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. I was very close to closing the stream down altogether because of a very simple problem. Death doesn't work well for me. Okay. It does create a problem when it comes to some of the goals I've got. Actually, I think it creates a problem with most of the goals I've got. Not the least of which is surviving until to see the 22nd century in this body, in a functionally healthy body. I can't do that if I die. Okay. I mean, I can die once or twice more. I mean, I've already done nine, possibly 10. So we might still have a few to go, but I'm not about to tolerate it any longer. Okay. And again, if, and we are, we are looking at, well, not looking at, we're actually, we're literally made, what did I do with it? My brain's working well, isn't it? I didn't grab, I've got to grab up here to get my clipboard so I can make notes as necessary. Now, as you guys know, I have, I've struggled financially, primarily because of the fact that I turned around and did what many of you guys do, did. Okay. And what, I, what I've done is turned around, um, you know, that, that what I did was I found, I found some things financially that were creating an interesting problem. You know, back, way back in the 1600s, people were way more direct. They may not have been politically correct. Lord knows, I know I'm not politically correct. I think that has something to do with the fact that in my case, my foot goes in my mouth before I can usually blink. Then I try and figure out how to get the other one in there with it. Now, today, like I said, today is absolutely open. Okay. Oh, uh, here we are. Joseph just bringing us up to speed. On ham radio, we have what we call lids. We tried policing them off the air. That only encouraged them. So, backed by FCC rules, we ignored them. We ignored their signals. Um, Woo, well, it's going to be a long time. Well, here's the kicker. I won't argue that Nathan may well be able to make a time travel machine, but here's the kicker to it. That time travel machine will only work going forward, which might make it difficult to find out what he did until you catch up. Oh, absolutely. You know, Wu's just going, everyone should have a ham radio. You know, it, it's very definitely one of those things that is very necessary. I didn't realize how dangerous this was. Okay. Until it got blocked, until it got completely locked out. So one of the things I'll be doing with that is taking all the numbers and putting them back in my own personal phone book. Okay. Because when I got locked out of that, I had no contact because everything was in there. I'm not waiting for that to happen again. Okay, so absolutely, guys, if you ever do run into a problem where you see that you've said something you didn't say it, absolutely, right off the bat, enter into in, enter the statement that you, you know, let the moderators know you didn't make that comment. Get it to them right away. And that just is a simple case of post it in the chat room. Okay, I don't have a lot. I never did have a lot of trust for people. This did not help the matter. You know, the, the fact of the matter is, if we go back to the 1600s, okay, back in, the, like I said, in, well, in 1760, I ran a plantation. 
I did have slaves. I bought two. But the reason I bought them was because the guy that had to sell them had no option. He had no way of getting rid of them. He couldn't afford to do it the other end. He couldn't afford to get them to safety. So how I made contact with him in the first place, I don't know. But I did end up buying his daughter and her and her um, her nanny. I bought them because it got them across the ocean to, you know, to, in this case, it was to southern Louisiana. But I, pay, you know, I bought them as, you know, as is, but it was the only way to get them to safety. Oh, where do we go? Oh, Nathan's going, from what I understand, the pattern no longer exists. Well, only shadows of that real, of that reality. Oh, the past no longer exists. Oh, the past is still very much, and from my understanding, the past is there. You can absolutely go back and look at it. Okay, what you can't do is you can't go to it. Okay. I mean, looking into the past via via technology is the same as looking into into this sort of past. Okay. Now, I'm not going to get into this, but I've shown you guys this before. Okay. This is a rendition from the past. It still exists. Even the reality of living there still exists. You can take a look back in the past and examine things that actually went on. You And from my standpoint, you absolutely can. This is how we pull up the information on what our past lives were. Okay. What you can't do is go back and change it. Okay. That's the, the biggest thing we have to look at here. Why don't we go back and change and in past in the past and change what we did that'd be great not possible but it'd be great but you gotta remember one thing you change the, the way to change the past is to unravel the entirety all aspects of the present all the way back there okay life is not like a video game you know it really isn't you know Actually, in all fairness, I play Skyrim a lot. And traveling into the past, you know, going back and changing something is kind of like it's kind of like a video game. Because with Skyrim, I can go back to a previous save point. In other words, essentially to a past life point. And I can reload at that point, but it wipes out everything that you did up to that point. Okay. So no, we are looking at taking and we are looking at where we're sitting right now, okay, right this moment, are you content with the way your life is? If the answer is, is yes, stay put. Do it your way. However, if you're content with causing me problems here, I'm not tolerating them anymore. You do have freedom of choice. You do have free, free will. Okay, what you don't have is freedom of consequence. And nobody... God himself doesn't have freedom of consequence. I won't argue with that point. Um, okay, now, a couple of things there, Will. I have no doubt they've got technology to look to the past. Absolutely. Okay. But I will tell you, tracking an individual's movements through that kind of technology is at its infancy. There are races that do have that kind of technology. But by, can they gaslight? Certainly. You know, if we take gaslighting, saying something and make you think something, if that, and I don't know what the definition of gaslighting really is. Okay. Again, I didn't know what online, what trolls really were. Okay, but if we take that as saying something to get you to think something and behave in a certain fashion, then yeah, people do it literally all that time. Oh, fantastic.
Aztec, whoa. <coughs> That would be appreciated. See, fortunately, I can actually, I'm like, I can't navigate on this thing, but I can certainly, I can certainly see parts of it. If you tried this last night, I've never seen it. But, you know, and again, now that you've seen it, uh, let me see here. That keeps jumping. You know, the funny thing about this, You know, and that's exactly what I'm referring to, Joseph. What you've done is exactly what I asked. Okay. Because the reality of it is some questions are, and there are some questions that will come up that may look really complicated. Okay. And I'm not going to, you know, from my standpoint, I've got mods taking care of that myself because I haven't got a clue how to do it. Okay, but I have no doubt that the government has, you know, I have no doubt that the government has technology to look to the past. What they don't have is the ability to alter it. Of course, nobody's got the ability to alter it. The other issue here where it comes to gaslighting, if people tell you something and you buy into it, yes, they're gaslighting, but you're the one doing the action. Okay. And this is where we have to realize, you know, the whole marketing thing, you know, the whole marketing thing of, you know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamonds are extremely common from my understanding, but it was phenomenal marketing that made them as pro as, as, pro as expensive as it does. It's the same as when you had cotton versus hemp. Diane, how you doing? Apparently not as well as you'd like. Glad you could join us. Now, the reality of it is, and my, yeah, I was going to say, just for those of you that caught that little comment, something to be clear, okay? Language like that, I'm not interested in, in listening to. Yo, know, keep it clean. This is supposed to be, you know, if, it's supposed to be safe for everybody. Now, I certainly don't have delicate ears. Okay. And rest assured, I get mad. The odds are what's coming out of my mouth. Oh, okay. Well, that works out even better. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> You know, as long as that doesn't cause me a problem here, I don't mind when it went, because I'm a firm believer, you, this is YouTube's platform. Therefore, we must follow the laws of the land in which we are. YouTube has their rules. Stick on them. Okay. Now, the, the difficult part is how few people actually pay attention to the rules that are posted. In my case, it's real simple. I look at the most rules I'll follow. Some I look at going, why would you man, why would you have to make that a law? Oh, Joseph goes, time travel to the future is extremely complex. As there are many folks and forks in the road. Um Number one, you are right. Travel to the future is complex, but the thing you're not entirely aware of is the future is not written, which means there are no forks to worry about. Okay, but what you're walking into in the future may not be a case of, oh, I'm going to jump 20 years ahead so I can avoid, and this is an extreme, an extreme exaggeration in a way. You know, going, I've got a test coming up, I want to jump to after the test. Now, there are so many variables 
you could pop into a place where your entire physical world's been turned upside down. Because there are a lot of things that will change. Absolutely. Okay. But time travel itself starts here. You desire your life to be different than what it is right now. Now is the time to get on top of it. And this is why I'm going through things I am at this point. Now, I'm lucky. Okay. I just found out this afternoon that the estate that I've been waiting for to get sorted out is almost sorted out. Okay, it should, within the next couple of weeks, I should start getting the the cash from the estate, which means my stress level around finances can collapse. But before anybody jumps on any ideas on that one, I have learned a lot about what I was doing. Okay. And many of you made the same mistake. Let's try and protect people. You know, let's try and help people and totally ignore our own. You know, my you know, my brother, when he came and let me know it was now in the works and it should be in within a few weeks. I'm not holding my breath. I figure it'll get here when it gets here. But he is going, he has asked me to get an exact buyout for a specific date. Okay. So that I can get my car paid off. Okay. At the at that price. So I will go down to the bank. Maybe tomorrow. But within the next day or two anyway. As soon as the weather clears. I will go down to the bank. And find out the exact buyout. For a specific date. Once I've done that. Then I'll be sitting fine. Uh, where are we here? Joseph goes, the viewing of the past requires a minimum of just being far enough away for light to travel there. Um, oddly enough, um, the neat part there, Joseph, as near as I understand it with viewing the past, it's done on a quantum level. Light has little to nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. I mean, you've got to have a nice enough light to be able to see it, certainly. You know, so I mean, all in all, you know, when we're looking at, at time travel, does it exist? Yes. Can we alter the world around us? Absolutely. But we got to quit looking to the politicians to pass laws, you know, to make it possible. Look at the three laws. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. Energy out, energy in. You follow those three laws and check any laws you're following. Okay. Any laws that you do follow, no matter where they come from, compare them to those three. And I do feel you'll find they all fit inside them. Okay. But if we keep waiting for governments to pass laws, you cannot, you cannot legislate intelligence. You cannot legislate maturity. Okay, there are a lot of things that create complications. Okay, but what we have to remind ourselves of, okay, is that any action you think about taking, you talk about taking, you implement taking, you cannot undo it. Okay, now I can tell you I made some really stupid moves in, the, in this stream. Where people said, oh, I've been here a long time. Can I, you know, can I be a moderator? Both times I did that, I literally ended up crippling the, crippling the stream. You know, by being, by being naive. So I've got people that are already listed as moderators. And when I get to a certain point, I will end up, you know, I will end up bringing in another moderator. But that will be a well-researched moderator. It will not just be somebody saying, oh, I've been here for a long time. Okay, not going to happen that way. It may be started that way. Okay, but understand, anybody from here on out asking to be a moderator, my moderators are going to look into their background and go, yeah, they're safe or, you know, 
or what they're saying is accurate, now you can make a decision. Okay. I'm no longer interested in making snap decisions on whether or not my, my health survives. Okay. I am dropping the weight that I'm aiming for. Okay. I got to get back to exercise and what have you. But this whole fiasco has created all sorts of problems. But I will be, like I said, the topics we're talking about here will be covered in, and others that I won't cover here will be covered in the newsletter. Okay. I am taking the information from here and from the newsletter and combining it. It will end up in some smaller booklets as I go along as well. Okay. This is just the way my life is going to go. Now, I'm absolutely tickled pink to have you join me. Okay. It, it's just the reality of the way my life works. Okay. If I come to your home, I will abide by your rules. If I come on your stream, I will abide by your stream. If it becomes a problem and I'm having trouble with whatever the rules are, I'm the one that will voluntarily vanish. Okay. And I've already, like, I already spoke to Nathan about this. Okay, because I had a I had a problem the other day, and like I mentioned to him, okay, if I run into a problem again, I'm not sticking around. I will simply, and it wasn't Nathan's fault by any means. It's just some things set me off in the wrong direction. And I'm not about to go down that road anymore. But that boils down to me making a choice. It's like you guys. I talk about a wide array of things here. Now, tomorrow is I'm not I'm not ending it by any stretch. We are only seeing, yeah, we're only an hour and a little bit in. Um, you know, but tomorrow will be a Monday, which means we are going to be looking at the alien side of things. All right. Oh, I forgot to write that down. That's okay. I can work with that. What I haven't decided is what is what specific topic or what specific race. And if any of you have a suggestion or a request regarding uh, regarding uh, revolving around alien technology, races, social structures, intentions, any of it, if you've got a topic, a specific topic you would like to to take a look at, just drop me a line. As a matter of fact, in the chat room is the easiest. Because tonight I'm going to be laying out this week. Uh, that would be appreciated, Nathan. Yeah, one of the drawbacks. So, you know, I get a kick out of it. Uh, I get a kick out of one thing there, Nathan. You know, and I, I comment about this with the waitresses in the restaurant that I, in the re restaurant I go to. You know. People apologize for taking off because they've got a job to do. And I'm like, why are you apologizing for doing your job? You know, I mean, I mean, I appreciate the apology. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, Mac, how you doing? Glad you could join us. You know, hopefully things are going well for you. You know, the thing is, I have to take everything. I've got, I've said everything is connected. Okay, now I'm implementing it, which means the stream, I will be putting the information for where to find this stream. I wonder, just because I want to see if I can find the dang thing. Not there, there. We go here. Take that off so I can see. I was right. Okay. Now I can go back to here. I wanted to check that out. See, and this is the, the whole thing. I've got no way to deal with it. So this is why I turn to the, turn the mod, to you moderators to deal with this sort of thing. Okay. But I am combining 
what's going on on the newsletter, what's going on on live stream, and what's going on in my own life. Okay, because it is all connected. And ultimately, well, let's face it, my heart quits again. I may have a bit of a problem. Okay, it's certainly an inconvenience. But if you guys have a topic for tomorrow, it'll be under the alien banner. Okay, that much I know for certain. But before the end of tonight, and I don't mean before the end of the show, I mean before the end of tonight, I will have laid out the next week's primary topics. Okay, be open to open to suggestions and requests. Okay, so tomorrow we are dealing with the with the alien the alien question. On Tuesday we're looking at gaming. You know, as in D and D and the imagination itself. On Wednesday, we are going. We look at society on the whole. Thursday, I'm not here. I game. Friday, we're looking at the paranormal, and literally, we're starting to teach people how to utilize it. Okay. Fact of the matter is, paranormal senses and standard senses, as in sight, touch, taste, hearing, and smell, are all usable by everyone. Just most of you have forgotten how. Okay. And then on Saturday, we're going to look at self-improvement, the tools, the methods, and that's where we start going, okay, what projects are you working on that you're, that you're striving to get done? Okay. Because what I would like to see is the people coming in here going, Okay, I started work on this project. I started work on this change in my life. I mean, the encouragement that I've gotten here that I have received by my being in this stream has been absolutely bizarre. Okay, definitely not something I was expecting. Don't get me wrong, I really appreciate it. You know, but I am now focusing much more, much more and diligently on changes that I find are necessary. Now, a couple of topics I certainly will not tangle with here, but I will be adding my input into the newsletter with. Okay. I will not I will not bother with with the with religion here, not in a specific term. In general, absolutely, because it's all the same to me. I will not bother and bother tolerating political lobbying. Now we've had a call, and we've had people in the in the area before that have said, "Hey, you know, now do understand when I say political lobbying, let's just say because I know of a couple of people I've talked to that are literally aiming at running for president." Okay, and somebody coming in going, "You know, I'm actually running for for the presidency of whatever country." Absolutely, go out and go ahead and tell it. I'm telling you, I'm building an empire. It's the same idea. This is what I'm doing. Okay, I'm doing it in a different fashion, but it's an issue of people going, oh, this political party is lousy because of this, or this is a special political party because it's doing this, this, and this. Don't get me wrong. I care if people are helping each other. I care a great deal if you're helping each other. And will do everything I can to promote that. What I won't tolerate is the idea of people saying, I'm better because everybody else is worse. Okay. You know, I do not see myself as sitting on the top of a totem pole. I don't like heights that much. And as I've told people, You know, as I've told people that have tried putting me on a pedestal, I'm very quick to knock myself off one. And jo Joseph is, is just telling us, just got a note from YouTube about protecting my personal information. Yeah. And that is an excellent, an excellent thing. You know, self-protection is really necessary.
you know, the fact of the matter is that we have to use our brains. And this is why, well, you don't have to. I've seen how that works. This is why my passwords, and I'm going through them now, well, not right this second. Mine are all on cardstock. There is not a computer hacker in existence that can hack my database. That's my database. Computers can't hack it. You know, that's just the reality behind it. But, where are we here? I'm just looking to make sure I haven't missed anything. And are we dealing with this? And again, guys, if you like the stream, if you'd be kind enough to give us a, to give us a thumbs up, do subscribe to the channel and share the daylights out of it. That would be really appreciated because it's time to start helping people educate, you know, and understand how where they're coming from. Every one of you has the same capacity that everybody else does. Okay, everybody's got their, their hiccups. Everybody's got their shortfalls. Okay, mine, one of my biggest shortfalls, and this might give you an idea of just exactly what I think of the moderators. On the whole, I don't trust people, period. Now, I tell people, you know, be honest. Be straightforward with people. Now, I made a comment to somebody one day, and I literally told them they were having relationship problems, and I told them, you've got to be honest with your other half. If you want things to work, you've got to be honest with your other half. Come right out and tell her what you're feeling. I'm thinking I was pretty clear cut. What did this absolute genius do? Okay. What did this absolute genius do? He goes out, cheats on his other half, then tells her about it and says, you know, well, I'm just doing what Keith told me. I'm being honest with you, so I know we can work it out. Now, how he got from be honest to cheat on your other half and then tell her about it, I have no idea. For some bizarre reason, it didn't work out too well between, between them after that. Yeah, LA, LA is going, paranoia is just a word, another word for longevity. You know, there used to be a role-playing game called Paranoia. Okay, and if you weren't paranoid, you were in trouble. And usually lost the game. But no, I'm a firm believer that whatever it is you're aiming to accomplish in life, if you're following the three karmic laws, okay, you have the capacity to, to attain it. There are some things I would not recommend, okay? Like telling yourself you can fly. This is wonderful. I recommend if you're going to prove that, make sure you're on the ground first. Do not jump off of, off a building and go, I can fly. The odds are you're going to go, and that'll be the end of that story. There was a gentleman in, there was a shaman in Africa that convinced his, 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 um, his village that he was so linked to the spiritual world that the, the, that the gods would protect him from bullets. Okay. And they all believed, you know, the, the tribe, the village bought it. And he had touted himself, he had touted himself, oh, I'm better than everybody else. I've got such a solid link. Okay. That, it, you know, the gods won't permit me to die. To prove his point, he got a gentleman to come to come to his village with a gun, and the village, you know, got all the paperwork in place that they required, so that everybody knew that the chief was being shot at by this guy. Okay, Carl, how you doing? Glad you could join us. You know. The neat part about it, from my standpoint, he convinced everybody, you know, everybody in his village, he was so special that he was immune to bullets. So he gets this guy to lie to set, set things up. He stands there with his hand, you know, with his hands behind his back, and he goes, just shoot me right here. The gods will not let me die. You know, I'm that special. Well, the neat, the neat little part about it 
was the gentleman pulled the trigger. They buried the chief. This is how much praying will do for you in the in the uh, hail of, of gunfire. Not necessarily a good idea. Okay. Around here, I have no questions. Some people have told me all sorts of things. I'm not the one to tell you you can't do it. I'm the one to tell you might not be a wise idea or you might be overlooking something. To the best of my knowledge, in all, in all fairness, I voices, it is possible for somebody to heal from bullet wounds okay, and to heal at a staggering rate. But I have never even heard remote tale of somebody being actually immune to bullets, as in being bulletproof. Okay, unless we count Superman. But it's the same thing as people on the whole are not immune to gravity. Okay, there was one case of a gentleman in the States that did skydive and both his parachutes fold and candled, and he still landed safely. Okay, but in my eyes, technically, is it possible to be immune to bullets? Certainly. Where are we here? Carl's going in hospital home today. Storm Island strong winds. Oh, okay. I gotta wait for that to move out of for the for the little heart to roll out of the way there, Carl, so I can see the last of what was written. Ah, there we are. Yeah. See, I've been caught in these kinds of storms. I do feel for you, Carl. A little bit disconcerting, isn't it? You know, I remember a, a chap I was talking to in, in Kentucky one day that was on the phone with me when the when the tornado tore his, his neighborhood apart. I mean, I had to give him credit. He was really relaxed about it. Yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm hearing this thing, and I went, what, pray tell, is that absolute horrendous screaming in the background? He goes, oh, that's just my tornado warning. He says, I says, isn't that what you're supposed to go for cover for? He says, heck, I got 15 minutes before it gets here. So, I'm, you know, we can finish the call first. So I get off the call, and, my, and it had gone a little longer than normal, and my boss goes, do, you know, can he afford it? You know, does he have enough income? I said, look, with this individual, you know, with this individual, oh, yeah, well, if you're on the coast, it'd have to be a hurricane. But, you know, I told the boss, I said, with this guy, even if he doesn't have a job, right, if he didn't have a job before the call, everybody in the neighborhood is, is now working. And then my boss goes, well, why? I said, because the tornado just flattened his neighborhood. You know, the biggest thing with a hurricane is you still get the winds, you still get the, the inclement weather, okay? But they are, you know, let's face it, you can end up pretty deep in the water in a real hurry. But that being said, Carl, do know our thoughts are with you, and you, if you all of a sudden vent on us, we understand why. And certainly our thoughts are with you, with you and hoping you're staying safe. You know, the nice part about it, and what I, what I do like about this community, is so many of you are so intent on helping each other, you know, and the, and the support I've seen amongst people when you run into trouble. That's what I would like to see in the rest of the world. Okay. Sadly, I don't, you know, I'm looking at the way things are and going, we're going to have to do something a little bit more direct somehow. Don't know how, but this is only the first step. So again, if you would like a copy of the newsletter, drop me a line. Let me know. The newsletter is and always will be free. Okay. It's the same as the archives on YouTube. I won't be charging for them. I won't be, I won't be dealing with any of that side of it. But come to think of it, I do have to figure out how to download them and download the other ones I've uploaded here because I, I put them on live and I don't have copies of them. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. LA is right. If you if you're looking to get on the on the email on the email on the newsletter mailing list, drop me a line and go. And literally, I don't know if this is still the same one. Yeah. This here is the email address to send it to. And I will add you to the email list and you'll get the get the very next one out. Matter of fact, if, if there's any of the past ones you'd like, I've got all of the email, all, all of the digital versions of them. Because I've been putting them out since, since July of last year. But, and that said, do I take articles from other people? Absolutely. I will not print every article. What I won't do is edit the articles. Okay. So, when I look at an article that somebody sends in, I will take a look at it if it is of a positive nature, not specifying names. Okay. If you're specifying name in names of individuals and it's of a positive nature, I don't care. I will not print other people's names. Okay. If you're if you've got a, a positive experience regarding a, a um, business, okay, absolutely I'll put their name down. Okay. But Business people rely on visibility. Individuals rely on an, uh, on anonymity. Uh, okay. Well, in all fairness, extra large, here's where this goes. I'm actually not the one to ask anymore. I've given very specific direction to the moderators and I don't question it because I already had a heart attack last night for it. So I'm just not having another one. Like I said, guys, I took that out of my own hands and went, I've had enough pain. Okay. And I'm just not stupid enough to create a problem for myself. Not anymore. Okay. At least I hope I'm not. And for those of you that actually know me, if I'm doing something you think is absolutely being going to be going to become stupid, um, you know, do and do open your mouth and let me know. You know, like I, like I mentioned, you cannot undo the past. And there are consequences for everything everybody does. Now, the fact of the matter is, I've taken it out of my hands. I went, these areas I'm not dealing with. To be specific, I'm not dealing with anybody going, my religion is better than yours. If you don't follow my religion, then you're evil. You're going to go away. Okay, telling me you worship somebody, knock yourself out. Okay, kind of hypocritical for me to tell you flat out, I believe in God, I believe in Christ. Okay, then then tell you you're not allowed to say who you believe in. That's that is called a double standard, and I'm not about to deal with it. Okay, but telling anybody that they don't believe in your God, in the exact same person you believe in, that's not going to fly. Same as talking about bringing in political lobbying and going, oh, this this political group is so much better, or I'm running for office and here's what I'm you know here's what I'm proposing, not going to happen. Okay, absolutely, I don't mind somebody saying, hey, I'm running for office. Okay, I absolutely don't mind that. Now, with that in mind, okay, you know, I, the reason I put the, the hard line on it is real simple. Okay, 
is one of these things that we absolutely cannot work around. Because I don't know about you, but, you know, I'm thinking way more heart attacks than the eldest of you have had in, in um, where are we here? Yeah, and Joseph goes, a non-native told me ignoring native wisdom is a fatal thing to do. I know of a few, yeah, I'm not sure which race it was that you were dealing with, but, um, you know, it's very much the case. If you, you know, it doesn't matter whether you believe in what they, in what some, some spiritual guy is, is doing. Okay. It doesn't make any difference at all. But some of them have some interesting ideas. I actually got told real simply, every spiritual path has part of the truth. Okay. Now, they, some of you may well be sitting there going, well, why aren't they, why aren't the, um, you know, why aren't the moderators letting this individual in? Well, the reality is, is, I said, I don't want to have a heart attack anymore. So that being said, deal with it. I'm done with the dealing with it side. Okay. Right, wrong, or indifferent. My health has to come before everything else. Yes, that's being a little selfish. Something about I don't want to die. Not again. I've already done it often enough. And where are we here? Now... Did I cut the moderators loose? You know, did I let it take the chains off and say, hey, take care of my problem for me, if you would, please? You know, it was simply a question of, well, I don't know. If it culminates in having a, in having a heart attack, my guess is this is a bad thing. Okay. So I am taking, and do understand, I watch what people are doing. I've learned a fair chunk. You know, you think about it. I calculated it out. I've been working with people with people and with their problems since I was 10. This means averaging everything out, a low estimate puts me well over 150,000 clients in my life. Okay. Everybody has strengths. Everybody has weaknesses. But I make miscalculations. And, you know, the reality of it is that sometimes people do things that it's really hard to get past. Now, when I was growing up, my father was real cut and dry. He goes, it takes forever to build trust. Okay. It takes a, it takes a heartbeat to destroy it. And once destroyed, it takes twice as long to put it back together. Okay. And that's just the reality. Now, the nice part about it, I'm just looking at the, you know, the one comment that was made that he doesn't, that the individual doesn't want to cause problems. He's interested in what I'm saying. That's no problem. My understanding, and correct me, guy, correct me, moderators, if you could, please. If I am correct, being banned from them, being shut out of the out of the live stream, does not take you out of being able to hear what's going on. It just stops you from getting into the chat room and creating problems. At least that's my understanding of it. You know, and, and for from my end, I I do have I, I do know the information I'm sitting on. Ah, thank you so much for the clarification clarification, guys. You know, because I know the information I'm sitting on. It's real simple. And there's a lot of it. And the reality is, I die. It doesn't go any further. Okay. Which is why I, I am doing my best to keep this open. Okay. It's why I do my best to keep this open. And subsequently, turn around and, you know, get it written out either in the newsletter or in book form. In this case, it'll be in both. Okay. Tomorrow I'll be dying. Tomorrow I've got a, um, there's a neat little change that happened in my game, in my game world on Thursdays that I'm going to cover tomorrow. But I'm also going to bring the paints out tomorrow and be working on some of the things I'm, I'm tying off some of the figures. 
But the key with tomorrow, not with tomorrow, sorry, that's Tuesday. Tomorrow I'll be dealing with the alien, with the alien side of things. Not necessarily the agenda. Okay, and again, if you guys have a specific race you'd like to look at or a specific technology, doesn't matter. If you've got a specific, absolutely pop it into the chat room or drop me a line on email, and I'll be more than happy to take a look at it. Okay, and we'll open that door that way. With that in mind, on Tuesday, we're going to look at the imagination and how it can actually be put to work in the physical world. In our world, because I will tell you, most kids have an absolutely vivid imagination. But when they get to be about five, maybe six years old, their parents seem to go, oh, that's a wonderful imagination there, Junior. Now grow up and be, and act, you know, act like an adult. And yet, it's the imagination of the, of the older, of the adults that is directly responsible for the technological and for that matter, sociological investments we've been making. Okay. Am I willing to listen to most people? Certainly. There are things that will trigger me. Okay. Like I had somebody, he was always telling me how how much of a, of a solid churchgoer he was. And yet, instead of turning to the church when he were, was running low on money, he came and asked me for help. Now, I didn't have any money to start with. Right. And like I told him, you know, you tell me you're heavily tied, you know, you're heavily tied to the church and you believe so wholeheartedly in them. And yet they won't help you. This is not a church I'd be going to. Okay. I will tell people, I will help and help people as I go along. Now, remember, I mentioned I've got the, I've already got an algorithm in place. I require to run my household comfortably. I require $2,500 a month. Okay. Once I am drawing that in, okay, 80% of everything over that will be going back to my two employees or the people are employees, contributors, supporters, customers. Doesn't matter. It's already ratioed out where 80% will be going back out to the community. Now, the reason I do that is because, and I'm not talking about going, oh, you bought 100 bucks of stuff from me, so here's $10, $10 gift certificate so you can buy more stuff from me. Not going to happen that way. At that point, it will be, oh, here's $10 cash. Go do what you will. If you buy from me, this is great. If you don't, that's fine, too. Okay. Now, I put that in solid implementation at the beginning of this year. Okay. As in January 1st. So, whatever's coming in this month will be calculated. Now, bear in mind something very important with this little, with this little formula. Okay. I've got rent that I have to pay, but I got two other people that are contributing to said rent and utilities. Therefore, the bill gets listed as this, but their money coming in counts toward what comes in. Okay, and that way I know when I'm actually making the money that I that I require. So this month, um, let me just think here. I'm about halfway there this time. Absolutely, Ken, and that is exactly what I was saying a little earlier. You know, this is why I say my minimum level, my twenty five hundred income, okay, and that's that. And bear in mind that twenty five hundred dollar income has nothing to do with the estate that's going to be coming in. Okay, the estate is another issue altogether. Although that will kill my stress level financially. It's funny, my brother, who's been doing very well. Oh, that will be a building thing. Absolutely. Um, you know, you are right there, Ken. Ken's going, you should also have a buffer. 
that 2,500 is a buffer. Oh, okay, that leaves a buffer in place just in case of a, of a bit of a hiccup. But, but with that in mind, okay, the buffer is absolutely necessary. And again, physically tracking what you're doing with your money is a critical issue. And this is one of those things that on 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 um, both on Wednesday and on Saturday, we may cover parts of it. Okay. On ways to lay out how you're, when I talk about your business, I'm talking about a business as people recognize it, or maybe it's just your household that is your business. Both are equally important. Well, and the neat part there, Ken, with Pluto and Aquarius, you are looking at changes taking place. Okay. In the humanitarian field, in communication lines between people, and in the organizational side of that of that side of things. Now I'd have to look a lot, a lot more into this particular little book. Okay, that's the ephemeris I use for astrology. As a matter of fact, it's an ephemeris that everybody that most people use. Okay. Oh, Ken, happy birthday. So what, you made it to 17 now? This is great. So you're just about old enough to go to the bar now. You know, and to think, Ken, you know, the way yesterday was going, I may not have made it to your birthday, but that's all organized. Oh, I think you might be able to believe it, but here's you know, the thing is, the way I'm looking at the world right now is there is a massive problem that we're dealing with, and we're either going to collectively get off our tail feathers and do something about it, Now, oh, yeah, so do I, in all fairness. Joseph goes, 2024 is going to be a roller coaster ride through both Love Tunnel and the House of Horrors. You know, I look at it this way. 2024 is absolutely going to be different than 2023. The question is, what are you going to do to ensure it's as close to a smooth ride for you and those around you as you can get away with? You know, I mean, my, you know, I've gone, I hit some pretty bad lows this year. And in all fairness, if it weren't for you guys, there is not a prayer I would have continued. I was at that point where I literally had looked in the mirror and gone, I cannot continue on this road. Okay. Now, the big thing that struck me, you know, when once I got past the issue of, okay, Heart attacks are painful. Had another one. I've had enough of them. That's when it suddenly hit me. We're dealing with bullying. Okay. And I'm no longer interested in the bullying. Um, but thank you very much for that, Ken. Um, because you weren't here earlier, if you didn't catch the first of the show, the first 15 minutes of it or so, I ran off a journal entry that you might want to listen to. Okay, I will be, once again, transcribed, which is where my other half comes in. We'll get that transcribed. It'll end up going in the newsletter for February as well, because this is a message that is extremely important. Bullying will not be tolerated anymore. Okay, and all the sweet talking in the world, in case people had not figured it out by what we just watched go down. Words are great. They really are. But actions are way, way, way more important. Note. Note to self. Where'd I put my pen? I'm sitting in an office. I didn't exactly leave the, leave the chair. And my pen went missing. Don't you love my office the way it works that way? 
Pen's gone. Oh, well, we got a pencil. That'll work. I didn't leave the chair that I can recall, so my pen shouldn't have gotten out of visibility. Tomorrow is the 22nd, I believe it is so. Now, like I said, I am going to be combining all aspects of my life because it all points to the same direction. See, there was an old saying way back, way back in Rome. Uh-oh. I just got away. See, here's and the reason I'm not responding to that right away there, Joseph. I am seeing it. But the way that the that my my screen is set up, and I don't know how to do it, but that little that there's a little heart in the right hand in the corner at the bottom that blocks out a section of what other people are saying. Now, I'm going to ask you a pretty, a pretty direct question there, Joseph, just because I'm dense. What, pray tell, is a gula? I know what a gulag is, but that's not really good for, for corralling anybody. But I don't know the, the term gula. And yeah, like I said, I do not know everything by any means. Thing is, you know, you got to look at the rules that YouTube has. Okay. On the whole, and I, I don't know all the rules. Okay. But on the whole, they are trying to cover everything. And most people do not operate by the heart. Therefore, when you look at YouTube going, they should move the heart. That's great. Most people don't listen to it. It's unfortunate, but that's very much the reality behind it. Ah, there we are. Ah, okay. Uh, Joseph saying, Ola is a is Sumerian for healing messengers. And, you know, he, the funny part there is the elves don't act, you don't require a hula to control them. Controlling elves is like controlling humans. Or like corralling cats. Good luck with it. Elves on the whole... Are a whole are a lot more complicated than you might think. Okay, and that being said, that answers the first question that I had earlier. Tomorrow, on the on on Monday, the race we're going to look at, and we're going to look at it in detail. Okay, is we're going to take a look at the Alfred race. Okay, the Alfred race and its many subcultures. Not all of them by any means, but we will take a look at them so you can get a handle on exactly how they came about. Now, the funny part, you know, what they are. Now, the Alfred race, understand. <laughs> and, Joseph, and Joseph goes, it worked in my bookstore. Yeah, you know, and there are there are certain things that work in one place, uh, okay, and that won't work in others. But um, the important factor from that standpoint is control is where we run into problems. Okay, what has to happen? Encouragement works so much better. Okay, now do not get me wrong. You know, I you know I'm a firm believer in certain little tendencies that I'm not about to discuss here because I don't know if they would violate YouTube YouTube rules. Uh-oh. Yo, so, I mean, from my standpoint, boils down to this. 
the elephant race, and here's the thing. In the Ildabakian Chronicles, I've actually detailed their entire their entire history, or at least major points on it. Oh, there we go. And sometimes I get caught up reading some of this, you know, some of the chat going on. But the reality is that's the way I've been pretty much my life. Now, with this in mind, guys, I've just noticed the time here. Am I absolutely correct? I am. Okay. We are getting to the getting to the two-hour mark here. And I really do appreciate you guys staying with me and supporting me. Yeah, I really appreciate the fact you chose to share your time with me today. Absolutely tickle pink by it. This being said, I am going to bring it to a close. Tomorrow, we're going to take a look at the elephant race. Okay. And take a look at their culture, why they are the way they are. And that's where we're going to start. Okay. Because, like I said, it's a case of getting a little more organized. Moderators, you did an absolutely bang-up job today. Thank you so much for your assistance. I really have no functional words to express that properly. Well, also don't know how to type. With that in mind, we will be back again tomorrow. Until then, do take care of yourselves and each other. And for pity's sakes, stay positive.